today we're gonna be checking out some heartwarming moments that may have restored just a little bit of faith in humanity. So this guy was giving random people flowers just so he could see them smile. So it's this girl's birthday and she's about to get the best present of her life. So her parents are surprising her by telling her they're going to adopt her and her brother and her sister. I'm going to be adopted? Aww. So they actually spent years in foster care and they're finally getting adopted and she gets to stay with her siblings. Like they're adopting the whole family. They even got matching PJs. Top 10 biggest fears. Like, you know that little gap that you're usually scared of dropping your keys or your phone? This dude dropped his leg and got stuck. And so all of these people came out to push the train and help him get his foot out. After the first quarter of an NBA game, one of the cheerleader's husbands decided to surprise her. She had no idea he was even in the country. And on TV, he was just gonna surprise her like... Aww. The house of an eight-year-old boy was destroyed in a fire. But when he went to school, all of his classmates surprised him with a ton of gifts. Aw, and hugs. What a surprise. That's cute. That everybody just like pitched in and like helped him out. So this Amazon delivery driver saw that they left snacks and drinks. Like, if you're a delivery driver, take one. Do my little dancey dance on the way out. I tried doing this and nobody takes anything. The fishies, they don't bite. I had good stuff in there. I had pink Starburst. I had Skittles. I had Cheez-Its. And it kind of just sat there for months. Y'all don't trust me? Y'all don't want my snacks? This guy was going for a walk. Saw somebody hanging from the building off of the balcony. And you know what he does? I ain't never done parkour. I ain't never climbed anything in my life. And then just climbed up this building. How many floors? He climbed all the way up four or five stories to save the kid. Crazy. Meanwhile, the cameraman chilling down below like, don't worry, I got you. Your best angle. Don't even worry about it. You're gonna be a big hero. So this baby horse got its snoot stuck in a bridge. And then the mom was just chilling there like, hey yo, you gonna get up or not? Nah? And the baby's like, mother, I'm stuck like a duck with no luck, please help. <laughs> and he tried to get out and he was still stuck. So this guy came and helped the little horsey. It's crazy how the mom knew that he was actually helping and not like, hey, I'm a statue child. Raise him to be a racehorse. Then sell him for profits. Nah, he helped and like the mom is like, all right, thank you, sir. And nay, and you be on with your day? So this man is gonna tell his wife's daughter that he wants to be her father. All of our family and friends is the day I get to adopt you. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. So they were at the lake and found a car. The car was drowning. It fell in the water and there was somebody trapped inside. And he jumped in the water. <gasps> a woman and her dog. And he just like pulled them out, rescued them just like that. That's incredible. Your booty out the bed. I'd like to wish you a happy Friday. You're kidding me. No, no joke. It's just a random act of kindness. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. What can I do for you? Nothing at all, just smile. I think, I think happiness is contagious. It is. She really asked, what can I do for you though? I mean, you gave me the flowers, like, can I take you out? Or some? So this woman went into a pawn shop with her kids to sell her ring that was really special to her because she needed money for rent. And what happens is completely unexpected. He was like, why do you want to sell it? She's like, I'm totally broke and I won't get paid until next month. So he gives her the money for the necklace and then also gives her her ring. So this old man with a cane was trying to cross the road and even though it was a green light, a biker came to escort him and made sure that no other cars went until he made it safely across. Gotta look out for the homies, even if they're not even homies. I think if the biker wasn't there, these cars might have just like, Doosh. like look at them, they ain't stop for no one. This colorblind student was surprised by his teacher by these special glasses that allow him to see color for the very first time. I remember when one of the Paul brothers made one of these videos. I didn't watch it though, but like, it actually works. Oh, and he starts tearing up. He's like, yeah, I saw the world in color. <laughs> it was very sad. This is a key. It goes under my welcome mat in a very obvious place. Alex, why would you do that? Isn't somebody gonna break into your house? Well, actually, there are a lot of break-ins in this area, and every six months to a year, I'll notice that the key's missing, which means people are trying. So this is actually 
actually genius. The reason he keeps a key under his doormat, which by the way, isn't even the right key to his house. So that when a potential robber peeks under the doormat and is like, oh, wow, we had done hit the jackpot. Snatches the key and tries to open the door and is like, wait, pull up, why is it not working? And hopes that maybe they'll think about it like, bro, what am I doing? I could be making a TikTok right now. I could be hugging my mother, but no, I'm trying to break into this dude's house. And maybe he'll think like, hey, it's not worth it. I need to get my life together or something. I mean, this smells like chaotic good. Like he want to get the robber's hopes up, only to disappoint them. Next time y'all want to litter, think again. Somebody threw a whole entire cheese ball box in the lake and this bear's head got stuck. But luckily this dude helped out the bear, just pulled it off. Nobody was even mauled. And he was like, oh, I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. Or you know, maybe he swam right into it. Dang, this smells good. I think I'll just live here. So this lady had cancer and because of chemotherapy, her hair was falling out and her mom was helping her shave it off. And to show her support, her mom starts shaving her head too. And then she starts crying. Like she's so supportive. Like she's supporting her daughter. And I thought that was really sweet. Can we have a cash check? That'd be wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Here's $1,000. Me? Yeah. Oh my God, thank you. You understand. I almost lost my house. So this is like, just made my day. I really did. Thank you. I, oh my God. Yes, thank you very much. That means a lot. She gave me a thousand dollar tip. Just like, hey yo, can I leave a cash tip? Like I was expecting a 20 or something. She's like, here's a thousand dollars. Bringing out the Mr. Beast bucks I see. This delivery driver was going to deliver a package and saw another package was already delivered, but it was like out in the open. So if you're like walking down the street, you can clearly see that package on the doorstep. And you know, some people, they might just want to snatch it. So he went and hid it behind the pillar. Very thoughtful. I was at Starbucks when this lady pulled up in her animal service truck and then she went inside to get her drink and then wait Not only did she get her drink, she came out with two pup cups for the dogs in the back Aww These dogs are scared and have had their lives turned upside down but at least they know that they are safe and loved and they get a pup cup so caught on this biker's cam, this man trips on the sidewalk, falls. That woman just walked by like, ugh, I don't want nothing to do with this. Blue backpack actually ran. And then everybody else was like helping him up. That, that was nice. That was nice to see. People helping others. After shaving his mom's hair to show his support, he also shaved his hair. And then she started crying, starts hugging him. Yo, don't make me tear up. I'm not crying, you are. When you're going through something rough, like the best thing you can have is just somebody that will be there with you and support you through all of it, whether it's your friend, your family, your partner. Like, y'all need to know that you're not alone. Whatever you're going through, like, there are people that love you and will help you get through it. This woman's truck got stuck in a ditch and look at all these people that came out to help pull her truck out. Where's that all wheel drive when you need it? That's a lot of people. Oh, they got it. Nice. I had seen this guy earlier today, so I decided to come back by. Oh mm -hmm. man, I appreciate it. Why do you want to go to Alabama? I'm trying to get home to Mobile to my family for Christmas. You want to go back to Alabama? <laughs> I want to go right back to Alabama. What's your name? My name's Doug Phelps. Doug, I can't give you any money, but I'll buy you a bus ticket if you want. Yeah, it's five dollars back, and I, I'm telling you, you tell me you're gonna get me a bus ride home, and I'm telling, I'm I'll get on my hands and knees. Hey, that's all right. Do you want to go home? I want to go home. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Let's go. Are you serious? Yeah, let's go. What? 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 Oh man, this was so nice. So my guy got him McDonald's and took him back to Alabama so he could see his family. Good guy. Friends, it's me. You know, there's horrible things happening in this world every single day. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, you have these people to restore your faith in humanity. Fans hold up a handicapped friend at a corn concert in Moscow. Oh, this is so awesome. Bro, metal concerts are the best. They got the best people. Oh, uh, this is at a corn concert in Russia. Like, I've been to a couple corn concerts. You know what? Funny story about corn that I've never talked about. So, when I was like 18 or 19, I went to a corn concert with my brother. I really loved them. I was kind of a crazy fan, but like I followed their tour bus to this restaurant and like I kind of waited outside for them like to be done and I wanted to ask for a picture and when they came out they like kind of knew that we were like from the concert and they invited us to sit down and have dinner with them and they were just so wholesome good people. Bruh, I don't know that was like it was wild to me but it's like I'm telling you metalheads are like some of the nicest coolest people out there.
Soldiers serving as a bridge to save people from recent floods. What? So there was a flood and the bridge was not sturdy enough and the kids were scared to go on it. So the soldiers like laid down and made a bridge for the kids to climb over. This is incredible. This homeless man was seen reading the same book over and over. So somebody gave him a Kindle. So he could have so many things to read. Oh my goodness, that is so stupid sweet. My heart. Like you could tell he's so happy. Like this is the nice this thing anyone's ever done for me. Christmas elves surprise the homeless with food and gifts. <laughs> oh, this is great. They're like dressed up and everything. And they left presents, they left food, they left coffee. So when he wakes up, he looks down, it's Christmas. Oh, this is such an amazing thing to do. I kind of want to do this. Because whenever there's a holiday or when it's like Christmas, I always think about, like, what about the people who don't have it good during Christmas? What if they're homeless, something happened in their life? And I was like, I feel like I would much rather like spend my Christmas doing something like this I'm like I don't know not doing anything workers from the Memphis cleaning company dressed up as superheroes to cheer up patients at the children's hospital oh what you got spider-man you got Batman cleaning the windows I can't imagine like how happy and excited those kids would be to just like look out the window and see a superhero cleaning their window I'd be like what this is the best like they are probably so stupid happy my buddy won 24,000 tickets at Dave and Buster's and gave them away to this kid <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, imagine being this kid. What are you gonna do with 24,000 tickets? You can literally take a minute and buy anything. He probably just like, what? What's going on here? This is like the kid equivalent of winning the lottery. So guess which idiot lost his wallet in Hobart last week? Hint, the same idiot that now believes in Christmas miracles. Oh, somebody sent it back to him. Oh man, the freaking luck. Like if it just ended up in the wrong hands, you ain't gonna have a wallet. And oh my God, if you lose your wallet, that is a freaking nightmare. Like you gotta get a new ID, new cards, you lose all your money, you gotta cancel your cards. Like it is a nightmare. So I mean, please guys, if you ever find somebody's wallet, I don't care how much money it has in it, like please return it. Plus it's good juju for you. Also people's phone. First, they can be tracked. Second, I don't know what you gonna do with it. You probably can't even unlock it anyway. And even if it is unlocked, just return it. Again, it's like you do good, you'll get good back. Oh, and inside the package, his wallet was wrapped up with a note that says, we hope you have a lovely Christmas. Love Santa and family. And all his money's there. All his stuff is there. Some good people found it. This is Kane. He built an arcade in his dad's auto shop. Whoa, he did all of that out of cardboard and tape. Yo, it's crazy what those rolly tapes can do. But no one came by except for Nervin who then used the internet to get a bunch of people to show up. And so many people came to his arcade. And Kane was happy. Dang, so many people showed up. That's so awesome. This police officer stopped traffic in the rain to save this wet and limping little dog. This is faith restored in cops. Man, I just love dogs so much. No dogs deserve to suffer. Anything with a dog is like, oh, it's so sad. A dog hit by a car was brought into the clinic. We had to amputate his leg. The owner's granddaughter wrote us this note. Thank you for fixing my dog. I love her even with three legs. Aw, that's really sweet. I don't know what else to say about it. It's like, I told you guys, I got a soft spot and it's a really soft, squishy, jelly spot for dogs. So my mom has been working the same waitress job for five to six years. So about 15 minutes ago, this guy she waited on left and told her to take care. Before that, she had talked to him about Italy and said she's never been. She got eight years of art education and she's working a waitressing job. So the man who she's never seen before tipped her a thousand dollars for a trip to Italy and then walked out, not another word. Holy, he tipped a thousand dollars. I mean, when I look at this, I really hope they let her keep all of it. Cause like sometimes they take all the tips together and it's just like split them out to everybody, which I don't think is fair, but wow. Like imagine how like incredibly like life changing that would be. That's some total stranger that she's never met before that heard her story and was just like, you know what? Here's a thousand bucks, go to Italy. <laughs> I don't know, man, life is wild. So on this escalator, there's a bunch of people holding up signs as you go up and they're going down. One of them said, Rob wants to give you a high five. Get ready, here he comes, it's Rob. Mm. I mean, it's just little things like this to brighten up people's days. 
smash like if you would high five him. This guy made his car out of a chalkboard material so kids can draw on it. Oh my god, that's crazy. How do you make a car out of chalkboard material? Don't you just like wrap it matte black? Wait, are all matte black cars chalkboard material? Hmm. I love how it says it's okay to draw on car. And then all these kids do smiley faces. Is it really okay? Draws a circle. I mean, hopefully they don't look at this and be like, wait, but can I draw on mommy and daddy's car? Also, I'm kind of low-key surprised somebody didn't draw something inappropriate. Left some lottery tickets on the gas pump. Good luck, random customers. Ooh, okay, but honestly, low-key, would you be mad if you did this and somebody won like the Mega Millions jackpot? <laughs> but it is a nice idea to like leave little things like this around just to like make someone's day. Like this mom and her kids hid some dollars around the dollar store. It's a dollar for you. Ooh, that would be fun. Especially if like somebody has kids kids and they're like at the dollar store with them and they find a dollar and like ooh mine and then the kid can spend it however they want I ordered food online and under special instructions I put please draw something uplifting on the container I just got dumped oh so they drew a sign that says you're worth it you don't need him to be happy oh that's actually really cute you know I feel like a lot of people would just like ignore it and be like I ain't got time for this but no they like took their time drew a sign out that's so sweet if your dog has to be outside please take a pool to help keep them cool okay see, this is something that is super serious like I can't stand when people keep their dogs outside especially when it's really hot it's like if you can't sit outside in the heat don't leave your dog out in the heat but they got stacks on stacks on stacks of free pools all you got to do is fill it up with water so the dog can like chill in it he can drink from it dogs get hot too Krishnan was an award-winning chef but he quit his job to serve homeless people food wow what a good guy he out here single-handedly hand feeding the homeless and he's a chef like the fact that he quit his job So he can help people is like crazy Andre Johnson holding receipts after he gave 11 kids in CPS 80 seconds to get whatever they wanted at Toys R Us Oh, this is such a good idea like okay y'all have 80 seconds not 60 seconds 80 two of those kids went ham like literally through everything in their car <laughs> I yeah, bet those kids were so happy, like life made. So this elderly man was shopping in a grocery store and then one of the employees noticed that his shoes was untied and got down on the ground and tied his shoe for him so he wouldn't have to like bend over and like struggle with that. It's so nice. This man gave his two extra tickets to the Spain Holland game to this boy instead of selling them. Oh, this is so sweet. I feel like people should always do this. Like last minute, if you're at an event and you have extra tickets, like please try to give them away to somebody. I've done this a couple of times at concerts where it's like I will buy the ticket and then somehow I'll get free tickets and then I just like give away the tickets I paid for. Okay, so I went to the John Wick premiere and they gave me extra tickets for the premiere. And it's like I already saw the movie because I went to two premieres and it's like there were so many fans like lined up and I just gave it to like two fans that have been waiting there for hours. And they like almost like didn't believe it. They were like, wait, what? They were so like in disbelief. Like it was just such like a good feeling. So this cyclist stopped to give a dehydrated and hot koala a much needed drink. Oh, it's so stinking cute. Is this arm of a look like it's chugging it itself? Like, mm, dang, that's some good hecking water. Now, I wish we had koalas in America that you could just be like riding your bike and just see them on the side of the street like it's a squirrel or something. It's an Australian squirrel. So here they have a wall of donated clothes for homeless people to take. This is such a good idea. I feel like everywhere should have this. Like, instead of giving your clothes to like Goodwill, there should be like a dedicated wall where you can like hang up old clothes or clothes that you don't want anymore and like homeless people can just take them. Such a good idea. A Wendy's employee removed an umbrella from the table to protect an elderly man from the rain while he goes to his car. This is one of those things that a lot of people wouldn't do I feel but like the fact that this guy went the extra step like to just go outside take one of the umbrellas off the table and like just walk him to his car in the rain. It's good these like this that make the world so much better. So this dry cleaning place does free dry cleaning for jobless people. So if you're unemployed and need an outfit cleaned for an interview, we will clean it for free. So I really hope people don't like take advantage of this like, oh, 
Oh, free, you say? Yes, indeed, I am homeless. Because, you know, there are scumbag people out there. But for the people who are actually legit, this is so necessary. And it's great that people do things like this. Our janitor is a huge Red Hot Chili Peppers fan. And since the prices were so high, he was devastated about not going to the concert. So all the students came together and bought him the tickets. Oh, I love this. Man, I really hope Red Hot Chili Peppers saw this. They were like, okay, you know what? I'll give you free tickets, take you backstage. Like this is, mm. You do not know me, but I saw you needed some tires for your truck. And I wanted to do something nice for a stranger because one day a stranger did the same for me. The receipt is in the envelope. And all you have to do is go buy the warehouse tire on 3rd Street and ask for Steven and they will put them on for free. All I ask is that one day you do something nice for a complete stranger. Oh my goodness, this is such a good deed because tires are freaking expensive. And then the fact that they just noticed like a car needed new tires and they're just like, you know what? I got you. And it's like things like this that make the world better because they like, they're gonna pass it on. Like if something good happens to you, you always gotta pass it on. Like you having a good day, something amazing happened, always do something nice for somebody. But then they'll have a good day and then they can pass it on to somebody else that'll have a good day and it'll be a never ending chain of good days. You feel me? This guy bought 42 turkeys for the homeless veterans. His total was over $800. Oh, he went to Costco. He got all the dang turkeys. I feel like everybody deserves to celebrate like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and have like a nice holiday. No matter how much money you have, like everybody deserves to have like a nice holiday. Hey guys, so a lot of you have been requesting that I do some sad videos. Like the try not to cry challenge. So I'm like, you really trying to go to a YouTube video to cry? Like what? I'm not crying, you are. My life is good right now. A little too good. I need to suffer a little. Maybe cry. <laughs> like imagine the burden of everyday life not being enough to make you cry. That you gotta go to a YouTube video and do it. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. So today we're reading some short inspirational stories. If you've lost your faith in humanity, I'm not gonna say this video will restore it. But I can try. This is Jack. He is wheelchair bound and can only walk about five steps. At his prom, this girl asked him to dance. And so he did, while the rest of his classmates clapped and the teachers cried. Oh, this is so sweet, man. Bless this girl for actually asking him to dance and probably made his whole prom. Be like this girl. This is so sweet, man. I put a picture of Carrie on her first day of junior year of high school on social media. I came home to quite a few Facebook friends who also have daughters with Down syndrome who are asking where I buy Carrie's clothes that were well-fitting yet stylish. So this mom posted this pic of her daughter on the first day of school. I told them that we shop at Wet Seal and Carrie wanted to be a model for them. A Facebook page went up the next afternoon intending to catch the attention of Wet Seal and did we ever. Wet Seal challenged Carrie to get 10,000 likes on Wednesday by Friday but she was over 11,000 likes. A lot of big brands talk about diversity and inclusion, but when my daughter had 10,000 Facebook likes, they told me that they were gonna fly me and my daughter to California, do a professional modeling shoot. I don't think I've ever seen my daughter so excited. I heard some people tell me not to encourage her to do things like that. She might not be able to do, but to me, Carrie represents how we don't need to place limits on ourselves. Aw, oh, they flew her out, did a whole photo shoot for her. I love that even during the day, she showed me exactly what happens when you start underestimating someone. All of it is, is a reflection on you. How to get a sponsorship 101. That's all it takes. 10,000 likes. Man, they really gonna do that. Yeah, I will make you a model if you get 10,000 likes. But for real though, this is sweet. But it's nice that they did that. I love seeing people living out their dreams. This is Sarah, 22 year old single mom who works as a waitress. Two national guards sat down at the restaurant. They were looking for inexpensive meals because they were not getting their pays because of the government shutdown. Instead of their bills, Sarah gave them a note. Thanks to the government's shutdown, people like you that protect this country are not getting paid. However, I still am. Lunch is on me. Thank you for serving, ladies. Have a good day. That is so incredibly nice of her. Like, she's a single mom. She's working as a waitress and she's gonna pay somebody else's bill like stuff like that is never expected But when it just happens it's like wow, so the story went viral She got a lot of interviews and she got on Ellen. Ellen was like, how much did you pay for the bill? 2775 <laughs> Ellen's like, let me pay you back now say your TV is broken. I'll give you this 50 inch <laughs> Andy, can you bring me my checkbook? Bro, she gave her $10,000 The planet needs more people like Sarah 
Yes! See, isn't that insane? Like doing one small nice deed for somebody can escalate to you being on Ellen and getting $10,000. Even if you don't, I believe that something good will always happen to you. Like if you give good, you will get good back. Like no small deed is too little. Also, I love doing videos like this because it's inspiring. Like you see people do nice things and it just encourages you to make you wanna do nice things. So like if a million people watch this video and see people doing nice things, how many of those people are gonna do something nice for somebody? You could do something nice for me and hit that like button in the face. I'm just kidding, but you know. Seriously though, seeing people do nice things makes me want to do even more nice things. This is Mimi, an 87 year old woman who used to volunteer in an LA laundromat she's seen in here. She got by on the tips left for her and the patrons at the laundromat. This is Zach Galifinix, I can't even say his last name. He was one of the patrons of the LA laundromat where Mimi worked. He met and befriended her in 19. When he was still a struggling comic with the success of the hangover. Oh, it's the guy from the hangover I'm sorry. I cannot say his name his life changed drastically and he lost touch with Mimi This is until two years ago when he learned that she had become homeless after learning of Mimi's misfortune Zach found her a one-bedroom apartment which she pays the rent for he also introduced her to Renee Zellweger who furnished her apartment and buys her groceries Here she is getting ready for a big night Zach has taken Mimi to the last two hangover movie premieres as well as the premiere for his movie Movie, the campaign. She says she is often mistaken for his girlfriend. <laughs> this is so adorable. Like I have no words for this. What a sweet lady. So she like lived off tips at the laundromat and now here she is balling with her famous friends. This is such a nice story. To warm even the coldest of hearts. This woman stole five eggs to feed her kids. Instead of arresting her, police officer William Stacy brought her a truckload of groceries. Okay, see I've had lots of very, very, very negative experiences with police but it's stories like this that are almost unbelievable to me but it makes me so happy that there are good people out there because I know he could have just thrown her in jail like she could have been like but I stole the eggs to feed my kids because we don't have money we don't have food he could have arrested her but it makes me really happy that there are cops like this that would help somebody out when they needed it the most this cop came to the same neighborhood after every shift with snacks and soda and chills with the kids who live here for at least an hour sometimes he brings football and plays a few games. In the summer when it's hot, he brings a slip and slide and water guns for the kids. And in the winter, he bought coats and hoodies. Like, look at this guy. He just chilling with all the kids in the neighborhood. Guys, there are good cops out there. Like, he doesn't have to do any of this. But it also makes you think, is there a hidden agenda? Is he looking for something in that neighborhood? Mmm, you don't know this. And you know, I'm a very skeptical person, but I would like to believe that he's a good guy in doing this from the good in his heart. This kid, Kylon, has his own charity where they help homeless people. It's called the Helping Lunchbox, where him and his friends raise money to feed homeless people. Like, you can never be too young to do this. I feel happy about it because we help the homeless. That's so cute. Over here, we got this guy who was on vacation in Rio, and he sees this homeless girl. She doesn't have any shoes or anything, so he gives her his shoes. Like she's crying, like she can't believe this just happened. Like bless this guy. A friendly neighbor on the East Coast offered power to those who need it after Superstorm Sandy hit. So the whole neighborhood doesn't have power except this one house. So they brought out an extension cord. Like if you need to charge your phone, here's the power, we got you. Like ain't no greater gift than phone juice. This is such a simple yet super nice thing to do. Like after a storm, tornado, hurricane, any like natural disaster, people need to get in touch with their families, make sure they're okay. And this was just such a nice, thoughtful thing to do. Oh my God. An entire class shaved their heads for their classmate who has cancer. That's crazy. Like on graduation day, everybody surprised him. Man, we got some good friends here. No fake friends. <gasps> oh no. So this woman was walking her dog and the wind just hurled her dog into the water. That is so terrifying. I don't know what I would do. This is a new fear I never thought I had. Like imagine walking your dog and they're just, you know, damn well I would jump in the Pacific Ocean to get my dogs. But this woman tried, but she couldn't. And then somebody else jumped in the water, saved her dog. Oh, this one really gets me. Like someone saving someone's dog. It's just anything related to dogs. It just, it hits me. This kid's parents built this Halloween costume around his wheelchair. Oh! wheelchair. I was like, that's a dope costume. It's an ice cream truck, but they built it around his wheelchair like best parents ever. This is so amazing. 
My dad passed away when I was 16 from cancer, and before he died, he prepaid flowers so I could receive them every year on my birthday. Well, this is my 21st birthday flowers and the last. Miss you so much, daddy. <laughs> I'm not crying, you are. But this is really sad, but also really sweet. Like, it's such a nice thing her dad did before he passed away. During a protest in Brazil, a general said, Do not fight, please. Not on my birthday. And then the group of protesters made a surprise for him. Oh my god, they made him a cake! That's all it took. Don't fight on my birthday! It's my day, my special day! War's over, now they party. Well, he was always that simple. A tourist captured a picture of an NYPD officer offering a homeless man a pair of all-weather boots and thermal socks on a frigid night. Is this real? Or is he about to arrest him for stealing boots? Guys, you don't know this! People twist things around on the internet! But if it's real, that officer, he's a good man. Put some respect on that. Like, this guy has no shoes, no socks, it's freezing. And he gets him some boots. It is such a nice thing to do. More cops like this, please. Faith in humanity restored. The owner of a bakery in Turkey put bread out of his bakery and put a sign saying, if you are needy, take it for free. We all, oh, this is so good. I feel like everywhere needs this. Like, instead of throwing away the old food, give it to people who need it. Hey, shout out to Turkey, though. Yeah, girl, Turkish. No tears were shed.